In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to our Eucharist this evening. Um, today we remember Saint Bridget. Not that we'll be saying much about her, but she is the patron saint of Ireland with Saint Patrick. And it goes right back to the 6th century. So we give thanks for the church in Ireland tonight. Remember the church there, Catholic and Protestant, as they learn to learn to live with each other, hopefully, uh, better in the years ahead. We remember for the peace process there. So let's remember also, as we come to the end of this Epiphany Tide, give thanks for this wonderful season of celebration. Let's pray now together, and of course a welcome to those online who are sharing with us worship tonight. Very warm welcome to you all. We pray now together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of God has dawned upon the world with healing for all. Though we have grieved him, yet he will heal us if we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple, in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts, by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves, and chastises every child whom he accepts. Endure trials for the sake of discipline. God is treating you as children. For what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? Now discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with everyone and the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. And the response to Psalm 103 is, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, O my soul. As a father has compassion for his children, so is the Lord merciful to those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Our days are like the grass. We flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments and do them. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah, Alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their own hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he had laid hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villagers, teaching. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, on this day in which we remember St. Bridget, we remember the church in Ireland tonight. And Father, we pray your blessing on your church in that country. And particularly the church also in Northern Ireland. Praying, Lord, for your blessing on the relationships between Catholic and Protestant. Father, we pray, Lord, your blessing on the leaders of the churches there and all those who seek reconciliation, all those who seek peace, all those who seek to work together for your kingdom. Lord, we pray that you'd break down those barriers and create bridges over which, Lord, the communities there may indeed meet and work together for your justice and your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember tonight to our world, the brokenness of our world. We continue to pray for the Ukraine. Lord, praying for its government, its defense forces, and all its people. And many particularly, Lord, the elderly and the infirm who are at risk, who cannot leave and have to remain in their homes. Lord, we pray your protecting hand on all the vulnerable in that country. And we continue to pray for peace and for the cessation of violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray, Lord, too, for our link with the church in Uganda tonight, for the Diocese of Kitgum. Praying, Lord, for the bishop, clergy, and people, Lord, in Uganda, and in that particular diocese. A blessing, Lord, on the mission and ministry of your church in Uganda tonight. Bless and strengthen all, Lord, who serve you faithfully there. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, continue to pray too, Lord, for all those who are in trouble, sorrow, need, 
or sickness. Father, remembering any known to us who need our prayers tonight, we bring them to you now in a moment of quiet. And the Father among them, we remember tonight, Jackie and Ted Hipkin, Miles, Rita, Tony Rivers, Gillian Withers, Margaret, Jan Vickian family, Lorraine, April and David Speller, Michael Steer, Max Wall, William, and Tony Niblett. Father, remember tonight too all those, Lord, who are grieving the loss of loved ones. Lord, we pray tonight too that you grant your comfort and peace and strength to the James family as they suffer a loss of Julie tonight. Father, we also remember those, Father, who are in our prayers in long-term illness. This evening we remember Margaret Routledge, Tim Taylor, Paul and Sylvia Townsend, Selina, Phil Rag, Mustafa Melania, Alan and Yvonne Simons. Father, also remembering Naomi Bong, Lao Mui Huang, and Michael Hammond. Father, strengthen all these for whom we have prayed. Grant them your grace, your healing, your wholeness of body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, remember tonight, too, those who have recently died, we commend their souls to your keeping of Harry Picking, Pat Anning, Colston Wilcox, Robert Regan, Sally North, Alex D'Aglio, Derek Bailey, Gladys Watson, Julie James, and Keith Taplin. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they all rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you to stand as we come to share the peace. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer each other a distance, sign of peace. Peace be the all. Peace be you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given human hands of made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. All honour and praise be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever-living God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For at this time we celebrate your glory, made present in our midst. 
In the coming of the Magi, the King of all the world was revealed to the nations. In the waters of baptism, Jesus was revealed as the Christ, the Saviour sent to redeem us. In the water made wine, the new creation was revealed at the wedding feast. Poverty was turned to riches, sorrow into joy. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take. Eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, according to mind, his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the blessed virgin mary Bridget, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. the body and blood of Christ. Amen. I invite you now to come forward to receive Holy Communion. Body, blood of Christ. Amen. Body, blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. Body, blood of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, you have fulfilled the hope of Simeon and Anna, who live to welcome the Messiah. May we who have received these gifts beyond words prepare to meet Christ Jesus when he comes to bring us to eternal life. For he is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. Christ the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory, and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Oh,